Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hi folks, it's Rick Spurney and Lightbulb here. And we're ready to have uh, you back here for the second game and late of this tonight's game matchup. It's the Dallas Stars facing against the Winnipeg Jets and now Stars has been rolling it out here with two wins over Winnipeg Jets at their home games. But now they are away and ready to face that Winnipeg at Canada's Life Century. For this next matchup, it's going to be a hard one to take in between of the two by Connor Hellebuck and Jake Ordinger's next opponent in Game 3. This may not be easy at all because the Avalanche has already done their way right across the time and space right in between of those two had that one blocking up the passes. But this was no joke. He had to find another way if he can get this one done. Straight up and again, and I'll be seeing what's going on. If there is another choice in between of those two, the Stars or the Jets, we'll find out who will take the win. Next matchup and next commentary, I will have another take. OJ is here, and he's along with the other side of it right now. After the, after the center lights, he's out here with us. Also along with the other two, right in between with Tyler Beach, and finally, we have it across from here, it all goes to the one. Me fan on center ice, and the third commentary is Paul Poitain. It's going to be a really tight matchup, but let's hope that there is more room for errors. And hopefully, there might be some good shots in between, so you're going to see what goes happening. In the meantime, stop walking around, let's get cracking. Enjoy tonight's game of the Jets and Stalls. It's the great matchup between the Stars and the Jets at Winnipeg, ready for Game 3. Let's do this. The game is on. The OJ along with Big Bone and for the center ice. And for the other side of the tip eight is Ball Point Peg and Tyler Beast on NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Starting to come around is Jake Ottinger. We're making him out the same, and now we're ready to get this thing settled in in the Stars territory. Stars wins the faceoff as Heskinen will have that puck in. Fowling with a loose puck in the chain, not finding Heskinen. Keep the puck out of the zone. This one stays down. Lardy shoots. Save the play here by Jake Ottinger. Harley's bounding around the puck. Harley now gives it over to Hintz. Hits to the right wing. Devello's got that puck. Stops the play inbound. Bumpy with a loose puck in the chain. Hits has went down. Now Bellardi will have it over in the Jets territory. We'll now find a way over to Kyle Connor. Give it over to Shifelli. Morrissey with the rebound. Big save by Ottinger. For two. And a shot. This one stays out of air and it goes back the other way. This one's really going to be a hard one for Jake Ottinger to pick it up. You know, the goal to reaction, that may have been what they are expecting right now. That is what they all have been doing for. It's really what nobody has ever seen like that. He scores! Alex Apollo shots things off in game three. What a Say that I was out, I follow at that great tip and bound. He just beats over the goaltender. That one's a takeover, a close call in the range, and then you give it off the pass to Kyle Connor, and then back again to I follow. That was a close range, but he had that one picking it very good. Starting it over is with that just one over the Rebel Stores. As he put him a win, here's Bianc. The deep pass to I follow. He's in there with the Ellers. He went down. Lindell's got that puck. Finds it over and out, finding the other way, pass it over to Duchesne. Duchesne shot! That one's been to save here by Oliver. And it goes up and in any out of play. Off and ready to do it our face off. Great start here for the Winnipeg Jets as they have a 1 0 lead. Now the win puts up for Winnipeg, and the up went down. No penalty call on Dallas. He will dish it out of the zone. Hankabus got that puck in, not finding the line draw. Hands on the right wing, finds to Shane. Who's he wrong? Oh, big stop here by Hellebuck. Now that Hellebuck is putting in there. A crazy look. 
don't really see what goes in there because the motherfucker is trying to have a, a big bunch of saves in there. It's not what everybody does. But they gotta have it in, in between of it to keep it going. Here's still the shot. Big save by Artiger. More along went down, it's Alondro will have it. Throw the two on one shot. Save play by Hellebuck. Stays high at the front. The up will now find Lowry. Dumps the puck in. Dallas Stars are back in the offensive zone, not finding Marchman. Marchman dumps it the other way. Dillon will have that puck in a piece. You lose that puck in range, now we will have to find our way to spin it over now, finding the Dryder. The Dryder with the puck in. Trace through the middle! Save by Ettinger! 16-15 left to go in the first period. Get some tired defenseman here and get ready for the face-off. Now they're set, ready for the face-off. 1-0, still the score. The win puts up for the Sars, and now Stankovic will have it again to Sutter. Sutter trying to give it to Johnson, and now finds Ben. Ben towards the middle, blocks it up. Now find a pass back in over to Schmidt. Schmidt finds Lowry. Lowry right toward in the wing. Tanaya takes the puck away. Moves it quickly over to Jamie Ben. Toward the center zone, starting with a play. Then there's the penalty call on the Jets as the referee's has been signaled. It will be on Nate Schmidt. That one's not turning off so well. That one starts it off too, way too early right now. It's not the Jets. They're having a little bit of complaint over it. First penalty call, we have a stroke of Elski. The big temporary range has one of their better on his uh, offending of the board. With his power play advantage, he can try to keep it things over here and then try to go for his power play advantage. He might be sticking it in here, but this might be one of his big tippers if he's looking for a chance to tie this game. Jason Robertson has one of his snipes on ability. He has taken it all over this long distance to the goal and make it in. Halibut is one of the known of his timing effort. It's what all the quick reaction does. That's why his, uh, his goal effort is putting the dial in. He scores! There's the big tipper for Joe Bonowski! Ties this game! It's a power play goal for the Stars! Now I expect it now, that big tipper puts it in there. And this is what happens. When that jump puts it in, that's what the big tipper just put it in there. What a great chance. There's one, and now you just notice that Joe Pavelski had that one with his first goal in the playoffs against the Winnipeg Jets in Canada. That is what has been turning a, a great chance here. That's right now with that pass over, it's been turning great. I'll see what Pavelski has if he gets the narrow tipper in there to put an inbound to shut down on Helva. Back to you guys. Puts a stop. Hayes will try to leave it alone. Scoop up along the board by Heskinen. The pass over now finds Carly and now he will give it over to Gates. Pulling it fast on the wheels and a two on one pass break. Chopper Robertson, big save by Hellebutt. Morrissey now finds Shifeli. Shifeli moving it in. Kowalski takes a puck away. Now finds Heskinen. Under 15 minutes to go, and Seskinen doesn't have any room to take. Kyle Carter will have that puck in back. No penalty signal on Dallas Stars. Takes a big kick. Marchman with the puck, as Kyle Carter takes a puck steal. Poked it out of here, and now you will find the arrow way. All weapons take over in there, out of Jets crash type. Seskinen, shoots one! And I'll make stop here by the goaltender. Dylan's entering in the attacking zone. Who's going to get an hour shot? What a great shot opportunity to save, and this one keeps an eye on the net. Parchment's got that puck in. 
The stars are back in the Jets' territory. Trying to bump it out. But he went down as one of them with the puck steal. And Bianco will have it over under 13 minutes. Duchesne's got that puck now fighting Heskinen. He will fire that one puck out of here. Now that the airway is doing. Any offensive attacking zone in. Put a shot. Big save with a chain by Ottinger. Doesn't really happen to most of them. I could say I take Ottinger because he's been really trying to get that one out. That danger zone's not really pressuring in there, but the Appleton and their team, they're trying to get that one out of here. Here's the Trider back again to Appleton. Single him with the puck steal. Another pass to Johnston. Johnston towards the wing. Dylan with the puck steal now finds Appleton. Appleton swings it across as Ben will have that puck inbound. Moves it across right toward the wing. The takeover, Johnston to Ben, save on a play by Hellebuck. That was really close call. Not when you always expect that you play for Hellebuck. When you dial it in, you've got to have that one a, a lot of timing effort. No one has gotten it pretty through the, the slightest of the angle, and that's when me and never really caught on. You've got to have another way hey, to get this through. Close stop here by Ottinger. We're nearing the midway mark of the period in the first. Stay tuned for the next game as we will have tomorrow night's game at 9.30 p.m. As the Canucks will battle against the Golden Knights at Peeble Bowl Arena. And I'll be in the next game underway to keep your eyes to the field. Only on Sun of Beast. Hey, stars! What a chance here for Stadio! A backhand goal puts it up a lead to one. Way alone right now with the backhander, he made a beauty. That one turned to be like he was all alone, and that one just made an excellent go-ahead goal for Dallas Stars. They're really making this a great chance. I really love that Steele's putting out a lot of his great effort. The backhander, whip a wrap around, and then he took it in. He's been doing really well. That's his first goal in the playoffs against the Winnipeg Jets in post-game career. That's just like postseason career effort he has been putting in there. Ever since then, he's trying to get this one in there at a perfect straight angle. When you all know for that, that's what happens now for, for Fetty and the team. You don't really think that Sam Steele could definitely go with a puck and a chase away. He just really wants it all. He's an arm for Steele. Not a bad save by Hilda. For Fetty will fire the puck in. Here's Shankerfeld, back the your way. We will try to have the pass. It's Burwell with the puck seal. Puck out of the zone, and Schmidt will have to find another way to get in there. Barun went down. Nemstikov with the puck rebound. Loses that puck effort. Here's Shankerfeld, back the your way. No giving here. Pasek gets the Kankerfeld. Here's Steele. He's way down. Shot saved here by Hellebuck. Dimalo with the puck now in the right wing. To the left, Sutter with the puck steal, and Bravelski's back on the ice. A chance at front. Here the corner finds Fosca. That's blocked. Sutter not by Fosca. Great glove saved by Alaba. Denies a shot and puts a glove again. That was really good. Taking the effort here, and that was how it locked it up. But then you have that one with the recovery and rebound. And this one came right in. Here's the win for Rip Vince. And it's a shot. Mowerman saved by Hellebuck. Schmidt trying to battle it. Ends with the rebound. He's in the middle. This one, no give it here as Morrissey will have that puck steal. The airway coming down. Fires it. That's way too much. And it leaves the zone back to the jet side. Here's DeMello with 841 to go in the first. DeMello off the shot belly. Fires a shot. Too many bodies in the way as the traffic neutralizes. Back the airway. Robertson to pass it. Here it is. Oh, that was another big save by Oliver. Sutter, fourth the shot. What a great chance here. Oh, he was not quitting. How could that happen if he if he not taking that crouch down? He's really like all into pursuit. 
trying to keep that one in there. And then lock the shot, get it out of here. Two smarts, man. Lost the puck, it's Bianca, we'll have it. Bianca down towards the chain. Broke the puck play. Duchesne back to Sutter. Sutter racing it towards the near to line, red line in the blue, and now in the airway. Block the shot. This one stayed down. He's still in with the chance. He passed to Ellers. Ellers lose the puck. Delandro has got that puck back. Toward the right wing. Pass broken up by Ellers. New group lineup. We have for the stars. Ellers takes a shot. Now a bad save by Audinger. Barley now finds Delandra. Delandra now finds Duchesne. Now been taken here. And Dreyer has got that puck in with 6.45 left to go in first. Loses that puck as Harley will have it taken over and now finding Marchman. Links the puck out of the board. And Bianca will have that one in the outer, outer ring. Oh my goodness, that's a big tack down. Take down his textbook and his pressuring is not really what you would expect for that. Appleton really didn't really like that goal call. I don't know what you could go for, but that's like a rumble takedown. Give some break. Shoot save here by Ottinger. Delandra trying to get the buck out of here. Here's Eskin and now finds Harley. Over now to Ben. Ben fires the buck out. And he's up. Right toward the line, trying to spin around. He finds Sandberg. Over now to Lowry. Lowry right towards the right wing. The pass is broken up by Harley. Scoop up along the board by Sandberg, and now he finds Connor. Back on ice with the cleaning of the group. New line change to Bellardi. What a stop by Ottinger! When you're in a five minute mark in the first period, Stars up ahead 2 1. Now they're off to do an air face off. Hits wins the face off. Lindell will now have it over to get to Hankapop. Near the slot of the corner. Chuck Valley trying to get out of the steal of Alardi has that puck. Take a little bit of a big out of here. Schmid. The diagonal right behind the net to Connor. A lot of shot. Oh, nothing given here. Here comes Ravelski. Shoots it. Not a bit stuck, but the textbook save here by Alaba. Agapa. Here's an old one. That one stayed out of his own. Great chance here for Jason Robertson. This one's not going to be easy enough at all. I mean, that was really a, a close battle in the range. This one is really taking the snipe in his own. Trying to beat the goaltender, that was out there on their lives. Schmidt lost the puck. Way too high. Think about now finds Kitts. And here's Kitts back the air away. Now finds Pavelski. Here's a two. That bad time and puts it in here. He's right on the boards, trying to keep the puck alive. Lindell still available with the puck. I have a shot. Big save by Oliver. I follow. Got a little bit of a tumble takedown. Mason Robertson now finds Lindell. Lindell can't hold on to the puck. Passes over to Stankelman. Three minutes left in the first period. As Monahan will have that puck steal. A chance in front, other shot! Went down and it went off the puck and right toward the wall, back to Johnston. Well, he's been constantly, and this one is really gonna be like, taking a big hit in between. When Ellis was trying to find another room, he was trying to have that one there constantly, gain that tie in the game. But that one just really stayed under pressure. That is just unbelievable how they did. Back in the offensive zone, now he will try to find it over to, to Heskinen again to Stankoven. Back to Ben. Ben on a shot, not enough to beat the goaltender. This one's another clear stop for the goaltender on a save. Demel lost the puck. 
and asking him about that, try to deliver it over back the other way. Moves it back to the line, draw, shoots! This one's blocked off the chain. Morsi has that book in. Passes back to Lowry. Lowry got a little stumbled in. Here's Harley back the other way. Moves it across back the other side of the, of the wing for the Jets. Constant shot. Another big stop by Hellebuck. Last minute remaining in the first period as he's still trying to get that tie game in. Here's Katsikov finding the game to Perfetti. Here's Perfetti. This one loses the puck. Morrissey to Brown. Shoots! Glove save by Oniger! 40.5 seconds left in the first period. Now they're up to do an arc race off. Still looking for a tie game for the Jets to get a 2-2. Houston Nav, stick lifted, in the corner now, trying to get the puck out, and Sutter will have it. Gives it again to Marchman. Marchman into the Jets territory with the puck ender, not enough to be it over. For a chance, silly play by Olivier. Ten seconds left to remain in the first period. Who's beyond? A chance for a tie, a root shot. Big save by Oninger! That ends the first period, it's a 2-1 game. Great chance for Sam Steele. First goal in the playoffs, get ready for the second period. Both are ready for the second period in Winnipeg, Canada. Here we go, we start the second period, and we're off to start. Oh, glove save by Oninger! Just got a shot in the second period range. Unbelievable. That's what I didn't know when he has saw that coming. Jake Andrews just really got it in there to try to stumble that puck down. Off and ready for another face off for the Jets. Here he scores! Demo! Two to two! How can my face off win? What the Demo did? He ricocheted this one. He made that puck in. Clearly out and out there by Sharko, he makes the face off. And then for Demello, he had that one coming back. That was excellent. It's now a tie game as Mark Sharko has 27 assists in the game. And now the playoff goal for the Winnipeg Jets. This is really going to keep an eye on that one. Here. I know that's going to be great. But that's what happens now. They played really well. Now with the first period retake over, I'll tell you something over to you guys of how they did. Well, they've been playing it for like a harder one. They, they were like tied up already, and this one was a one and one chain, but that one was starting to be like a close amount. Nothing happened here, but that was really what they were expecting to do. They played it really well. Hard game bounds doesn't mean that they were really good at it. They've really playing it for so long. And better teams, not always when you beat over against the other teams, but they really have some of the uh, patients out there. They, they're trying to get that one in as it work, but they have nowhere to go. And you have to try to find another way if they can try to stop one. I see the point. Always start with the Jets, they have an answer back right now. But that one was his first goal for I follow me. I made that one in there. And then Kamelski made a big tipper in the range with a power play goal. And then Sam Steele came in and he said, you know what? I'm going to take it over. Watch this. And he definitely does that one here with a great beauty backhand. Todd now going to take his lead, and his first playoff goal of the night. Hellebuck's going to stop the puck with 18.20 to go in the second period. On the take from here yesterday, here's me, folks. Eskiden does something crazy with his better technique. His better range is to put in for some skill challenge. He wants to go in style and to go right in between and go in reverse. He wants to do it backwards, and he has a better defensive effort like taking some time, but sometimes reversing shot can be a little bit of hard pressure and take. I'll find out if you're arrested and has that chance in. Harding just going to hold up with the puck here with under 18 minutes to go in the second. Off to an hour face up and ready. Tie game 2-2. The Jets wins another face-off. Here's the mellow. Shoots it! Block was stopped made by Oninger. Duchesne now finds Lindell. 
Lindell trying to get it in. Here's the Mellon back to Morahan. Morahan right towards the right wing, now finds Eller, shoots it! And I dribble, grab that puck here at 17.31 to go. It's going to be taking a little bit of an easier way pacing. But don't let that play hard enough if you get that one in there. And off to another face-off win. Great stop by Eninger. Back to Kaiko Pong. Lost the pressure. Here's I follow. And a save puts it up by Eninger. I follow back to Pion. Pion shot. That buck is out of here. Another blocking saving now by the Stars. Now you can definitely call that one in there. That was a pretty close call. That was really like what they always said. They were expecting it. That they were going to be popping up their fast. But they were really making a lot of pressure in there. Can't believe it. And it will be stopped by Hellebuck with another bad save and it's stopped up, ready for the face-off. All to another face-off in the game. Still tied game 2-2. Two -two. And another win for our follow. And still will have the puck with going 16.43 to go. Passes to Peel. Peel will now try to handle it over in the, the jet zone to find Lowry. In the attacking zone. On a shot for Appleton. And he'll have to be more precise to beat the goaltender. Arnie Drew will never save. Shows are coming up here for the BFDI and MHC. So the season two is return and for a new episode of the BFDI TPOT episode 11. That'll be all of them here, only in a couple of the theaters between New York, Houston, and Seattle. And the penalty is now called for the Dallas Stars. Let's get in, in the penalty box. With the penalty kill for Dallas Stars, now it's the Jets' turn to have a lead off. 3-2 as the Niner Power plays on for Winnipeg Jets. Morrissey, run a hot shot. Now I have to be a goaltender that was up the side of its of the pad and steal with the puck. Closing out the range is Morrissey, now finding Shai Feli. Shai Feli, Tunet takes the puck away. On the inbound, finding Morrissey again. The pass over now finds in the airway to Mordehan. And hold on, shot. Another big stop here by Ottinger. Tonight, clears the puck. 115 left to go in the power play for the Jets. And here's Morrissey back the airway now finding Shy Philly. To find Scudder. Carter takes it over to Monaha, back to Carter shot, another stop made by the goaltender. Sutter trying to growl for the loose puck. Tonight's got it, big takedown, big stop by Ottinger. Under 15 minutes to go, ready for another face off in. In between of those two, it's still a tied game in between the Ottinger team and Connor Oluk's team. Now the win, here's Buffetti. Off to Pionk again to Ellers. Ellers back to Buffetti. Shoots wide. That's off the deflection again. And Higgs will have it. Team pressuring in. On a shot. No big stop by Ellerbrock. 27 seconds left in the power play for the Jets. 14 36 remaining in the second period. Now they're off to do this one again. Big time on attacks in between a 3.38 and for 2.47. Now for the win for the Jets for 25 seconds. Here's the Dryer. Third shot, and a big pack save here by Ainger. Horseman dumps the fuck out of here. Looks like he's ready to get back out there. Heskin is all paired up, ready to go. Are unable to get a leadoff game as this won't be the end of it. And our pack saved by Ellinger. You can call this one a, a fair shot of the angle. You know that one is really a, a topple under the loose. This one's really taking over for in-betweens. They're really expecting that the Jets are trying to play very hard. 
You know, I was never seeing anybody like this. But because of that point, the Stars are really adding another defensive effort. They really have a lot of them to try to stumble them down. They can't believe it. They can't be able to help at all. But this one may not be what they're expecting of. Because they have it in there, they got to get that one through here. And have it stop on the other side of it. They really are battling it off. They're trying to get that one out of here. Now, Buffetti will have that puck in. The right to bring him his own. Pitch low dollars. And Ironton will have that puck stop. 13.04 to go in a second. This will be the only game left here, and this one will be the shows that will be coupled in there because all tickets are sold out. Seattle's the last one in, going low right now, so you better hurry up because the tickets won't last long until the popularity has been seized and finished. And for Spiky Universe to say, there might be a chance out there for some new expansion plan for 2025 for adding new locations. Do you think this will happen? I'm pretty sure it will be. I'm not sure if this will be the expansion plan here for Inverse this game. It may not be what they're expecting now. Hopefully this might be a great chance if they have it ever. Another penalty kill for Dallas Stars. And it just will have an answer to get a power play if they have the lead up. And off the win, here's Hyperpod. He will try to dish the puck out of here. Morrissey trying to get the puck out of here. And back in the zone. Cito takes it out. Lindell flings it. Connor Elbuck. Oh, good penalty on the redeemment for the Stars. As Scott Scott gives it again to steal. Well, they really are battling it in there. I don't know what they can take, but that is not very good when you take over this. They should have single that it would be the five on three. It may not be what they're expecting now, but they've got to play hard. Now here's Motohan with the puck. Now finds again to Connor. Connor shot! Nobody around him! Hodinger picks up another save. And Brady for an arm face off. Now they're ready to do this one again. Still a tie game. The energy's still low in this arena. Pitch wins the face off as Huskinen will now have it over to fire the puck out. And it's up into the best visitors to home side of the bench. Now off for another face off with 11.51 to go. Chuck Philly wins the face off. Ben's got that puck. Nearing the zone, his head shot, never been saved by Alibot. 11.38 to go in the second period. They have it coming down. They never really want to have it off. Play in line, play in between, got to get that credit in. Now the win puts it in for the Stars, and this one's deflected off the skater and back to Morrissey with 50 seconds for Jets power play. Rilardi to Monahan. Monahan shot on a block to stop made here by Ali Jones. Stop the play. And it will have it. Good shot. Quick save play. Monahan will start things over again. The pass over to Rilardi shot. Oh, it's going to take almost in there. But no goal made. Hits back to Ben. Kravelski's ready to get out of the penalty box and ready to go. Shy Philly now finds Velarde. A chance for Monaghan, and this will not be in time as the power play is over. No leadoff score here. Oh, and three. Well, they've been looking like they were playing a little bit of aggressive out there. For Nixon's team, they're really trying to keep it over. But great stoppage for in between the two. I like that Jake Ottinger guy that made that one save. That one's going to keep out of the pressure inside, but not for the reason they're really keeping us over again. They really are starting to get that one loose, but they can't leave that one alone. Miller already lost the puck if Duchesne will now have it over to Lindell. Lindell gets the puck. Out of the blue line, went offside. Only a couple tickets all ready to go, and then once again, a new episode will release here. And that will be episode number 11 for the BFDI TPOT and the Anime Sanity of Season 2. And it's been returned 
a new episode of number 15. Sunny for the play by Oliver. In the corner of the board, now finding a line drive again, a hit the ground. Off to Lindell. Shoots! Big blocker stopped made by Oliver. Here's the line drive. We'll get a lead over to Lindell. Shot! He scores! Mason Marchman does this one. Another big tip. After Pavelski, now it's Mason Marchman. Well, you can definitely clear it up and out there for Mason Marchman. How that big tipper? Great chance, great play. Now watch the pass here from Lindell. That firing shot puts it in there, and that deflected, that's for Mason Marchman to have that goal. In the range, beats it out of Relibach, redirect it, and in a net. Great chance here for Delandro as the team is back up by one under the midway mark. Winning faceoff puts it for Lowry. DeMella now finds Lowry. And Lowry will have a chance back in the driver. Oh, off the face mask, and it goes right into the corner of the wall. Thank you, Paul. Keeps the puck out of the zone. The Jets are back in the offensive now, picking up the chance in. The pass to Lowry. Lowry over to the Dryder. The Dryder trying to get it out. A shot! Saved by Ottinger! 8.45 left to go in the second period. Narrow face offs coming up underway. Off to another face off. He's still in shot. Another big stop by Ottinger. Hank if I now finds Pavelski. Pavelski now has it over to Hank if Over to Gibbs. Oh, a low moment in there. Big hit. Better take that. I've been sorry. Not a choice. Almost went in and out, but that Hanks takes it out. You know, you can definitely saw that one in there. You can see what the Jets are trying to do. Make that one basketball play in their ball. Accountable is just not trying to be what they are expecting. But that is just what they all need to know for. You can definitely know how that happened. But because of Kings and their team does it again, they really are trying to have it over. That play post is nothing what they are going for. Even if they take it in there for some response, they gotta have to try it up and out of here. And get to another covering face-off attacks. They were over the limits. Under 7.30 left to go, he's steal. Lost the puck, he still will have it. Pass to Monahan. Monahan racing towards right to the net. And a stop puts up by Ottinger. Arley now finds Steele. Steele towards the right left wing. Pass broken up. The rebound picks for Heskinen. It's blocked. Heskinen. Nothing given here. Elbuck tries to cover the puck up with under seven minutes. Off to an earth face off, ready to get it going. Still a lead off for the Stars, answering it back 3 2 after 2 1 for the first period of the end. There will be 3 2 for a second period. They can keep that alive before the third. Still looking for two. He scores! Unbelievable! That's another backhand goal for Sam Steele. He has nowhere to go. He just did the same thing. And just like that happened in the first period, this is what he did. Definitely made it in there. And that's his second goal in the playoffs that he has finally made. That was excellent. He got a great takeover. Well, you know now, Sam Steele with two goals. He might be entering in for three if he gets in there room for his hat trick. 636 left. Might be for his day in the third period. Let's hope if he does more. Carly went down to Tuscany and will now have it over back the our way, fighting again to Stinkelman. Stinkelman lost the puck, his horse, he will now have it again to Kyle Connor. Broken up the play in to the visitor's bench. Stops the puck in. Now by in this room, down back to Tuscany and over now, missed again to Ben. Ben went over, crossing the angle. Timo's got that puck, finding shot Philly. Off his way down to Malorty. 
Malarney past the corner, shoots, it's off the skater and it goes right toward the wall. Five for three, stop by Ottinger. Just 5.30 left to go in the second period. The officials are getting set, ready for our face off and ready to go for. Now the way, it's the mellow. It doesn't hit off that time, and it goes off the deflection again to Malardi. Club saved by Ottinger. 5.20 left to go in the second period. Has some time for another face-off. Expecting to do this one again. Close range in the face-off, they only have 18 for Winnipeg and 17 for Dallas. Another face-off win for Duchesne and off to Hankapah again to Marchman. Oh, very hanged out there as DeMello will now have it again to Kyle Connor. You know, you can see that reaction here for DeMello. He tricks it in there, tries to whipple it across. Nothing to get over it, but that looks like a hard take. Oh, he's just going to hold it with under five minutes left in a second. Now they're up to do it again. Face off win to Deshane. Lindell finding it again to Mankapa. Streaky into the middle. Now back the airway to Chajet as the Dillon will get into Velarde. Velarde skiing across. Elijah with the puck steal. What an opportunity play. Pass to Kankapa. Lindell. There's the penalty call that Slashing's going to pick up on the Winnipeg Jets. He's not happy at all. He's really like in very bad at the behavior and he just really had that call. He realizes that. Why is it on me? How did I just do that? How did that happen to me? That was what happened because of Dylan. He slashed it, knocked his hand out, and now the penalty is going to be called on the Winnipeg Jets. Even back-to-back -back switches, they're never going to like that call. Now the win for the Winnipeg Jets is Samper get to our fellow. You will dish the puck out of here. Here's Heskinen back the airway with a diagonal pass again to Ben and over to Pavelski. Looking for a bit timber for two goals. Oh, a long moment! Near the blue line, back to Lowry. That's really an offensive play. They can't be stopped down. Robertson now finds Ben. Ben trying to reach across. Goes down and after him. Pavelski blocked the shot by Anfong. Keeps the puck out. 3-3 left to go in the second period, he now finds Ben. And Hanks, loose is not winning for the Sandberg, will have that rebound. For a chance for Shorehanded, that one stops the play here for Jake Ottinger, and now back to Ben. 3-15 left to go in the second period, fires it! Hellebuck makes a stop save! For two, over again the wraparound! For another chance, another great stop by Hellebuck! Unbelievable! This is what they all expect now for Hellebuck. He's been really keeping it out with his puck in his advantage zone. That one really needs to get in there for a shot and stop and save. Another great chance opportunity to put a stop for Hellebuck. He just got it in there. Crazy effort. While we try to pick it up over into the way, that finds Beyond. Went right down the skits will have it. Looks like his time zone's about to be up. Big shot! That's with a stop made by Alba. Pavelski with a shot! One time in bird! Stopped again by Alabok with 2.24 to go! Full pressure's on! Marge by shot! And stopped by the Jets! Great chance here for, for the Dallas Stars. They really are taking their way off. That pressure and in, in Countable on their, on their better players' advantage is just not turning the way they expected. I was really concerning that they were really are pressuring in for the defensive zones, but for Hellebuck, he did a wild dial in save of his reaction. All that happens now, he's just really taking it in there for some, a lot of time effort. Got it in between the zones, he's just picking up the pace. For all almost the face up is now Piaf will have it. Shoots! And it goes up into the netting, out of play. Just nearing the end of a closer in the end of the mark in the second period. 
Four twos a score for Dallas. Mordon wins the face off. Alex with a rebound. Shoots it. For a rebound, it's been knocked out. The Lundgren now finds a pass to Marchman. Looking over his left follow. The pass over to Monahan. Monahan. First shot. Hook save. Under 90 seconds in the second period. As this won't be under down and big pressure for full room for the Jets. And they're ready to do some more. Boucher wins the face off his hand, but will now spin it over back to Delandro. Who's the puck in range? Now Bianca has to team up, and Villardi will get a full pressure in the range. Villardi trying to get a close game. Show it! Up straight out of the zone by Ottinger. One minute left to remain in the second period. It's Duchesne on a two-on-one fast break. Big stop in the chain by Oliver. Shy fell you over on the other side of it. This one stayed out of the puck side. Farley will now have it over. Flicks the puck out. Here's Schmidt. And a pass over to Shy Fowley with 30 seconds left. Shy! Big stop by Ottinger! How did he hold on to that? A chance opportunity to bring it down by one. 4 2 is Dallas Lee. Face off play for the Jets. Went down as Heskinen gives it again to Pavelski. Pavelski spires the puck out. Now with some room, here's Sadberg back to Connor. Connor trying to have it over. Move around into the Lardy. Shot! That one's off the range target. And I'll end the second period. 4 2 score. Steel looking for a hat trick when we come back after the break. You're watching the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Hey everyone, it's Seth Beast, and I have some quick announcement for you guys. As for this moment, we have another new race that's coming in there, right in between, right at those reactions. As right now, Hammer Nations is back for another new reaction in between of the zones, right of the de my dentist uh, theory of the mental breakdown. As right now, that Stone Yoshi have already made a reaction, but this time, Son of Beast is doing it a little bit differently. Once the conference finals kicks in. As the moment, or this moment, before the final starts, he will do some a little bit of reaction right in between to start things over after the conference finals has been completed between NHL and NBA. This will be a part of a matchup that's going to be happening right in between of the line for those two in between. And this time, this will be almost everything with a famous swoosh that's already been recorded but hasn't been uploaded in between. But don't worry, guys, I will be able to finish things off between no matter what, how well I do, but uh, the time schedule is always a bit changeable in between. I'll find out if there's another room for, for taking in there, so I will have some plenty of time effort to get this thing finished. And finally, we have it across here for Brody and MAC finally gets done another one for the Demon Dogs. Well, this might be another takeover in between. Probably re returning home from, from vacation may not be easy, but I'll let you know as soon as I can, or the start of it, or the end of the month, and this will be the next part of it to kick it off. In the meantime, this will be all free of them. Don't miss things out here, only on Sunday Beats. And with that one, Casting the Boats will be in next month, for next two months in July. That will be happening in July 17 and the 18th. That will be NHL, big choice of NHL 25 and the new matchups, and for NBA, 2K25 casting your votes on the other side. Pick votes in between the next matchups right in between those two. NBA officials, now it's your turn. If you like, love NBA basketball, choose which team you're going for. If not, you may even want to watch it on your own and try to figure out which team you like better. But at that moment, that is it for now. Thanks for joining us here, and now let's kick off the final period back in Canada's life century. All for you, OJ. Send a beast out. This is where we come down to this in the third period. And we're all set to go, ready for the last one of the period of 
Sasha in game three. I have a lot of great rings. Let's have your take, guys, and how they did. Well, they're pretty uh, aggressive right now. They were really playing it hard on it in between the DeMello's team and Joe Bavelski's team. They're doing like a big, uh, big takeout. All that happens now, they are trying to make something else in the moment of the hearing, and hopefully by that point, they're trying to get over this so they get to the next the step range. Hopefully there's another way they can try to like, answer back for the Winnipeg Jets if they get there. Yeah, pretty sure the same thing. It might be what they are using to, but let's hope they do this. After a penalty called on Winnipeg Jets, as the Stars will have their advantage with the power play, cross-checking on DeBello. Lowry's got that puck. Trying over to hand it. And a big stop by Ottinger. This one goes up and up in an inning. It's easier playing when you just got it over to Jake Ottinger on a shorthanded goal and bound. That one takes it over, and this one was a tipped up in the bound. That one was putting it way up across. That one turns to be like a big save that he had put in the chain in. Now the sets are ready to get this thing going. Still a 4-2 game. Dallas Stars. Hintz wins the faceoff as Ben will now have his chance over to get it back to Hintz and now finding Eskinen. Eskinen right toward the right wing. He now finds Pavelski. On a shot block. Appleton's got that puck in. Now he will try to race his way down towards the outside of a ring. First shot. Another save here on the goaltender. Ninth minute starting in by as Pavelski will have it's another chance for two. Bad shot. What a great salt by Alibut. Putting the pressure in range on your siege and ready for face off. Now here's the win for Gates. Robinson back to Gatskade. First shot. Great block in the chain for Appleton. Puck leaves his own, now finding Eskinen. Regrouping again, now finding Pavelski. He went down on a tumble. Back to Morrissey, over and out to Nemstikov. Trying to get it over to Appleton to clear it out. Loose that puck ring. Here's Nemstikov's shot. What a stop here by Ottinger. Nemstikov now finds Dillon. Get an Appleton shot, Ottinger, and the receive. That is another stop for the Dallas Stars. Putting a lot of energizer in, keep on going. Well, this may have been happening, like, it's a little bit too much in there. But he's trying to get it in there to get it back into work, and hopefully you might have it in through. The wind puts it in for the Stars. It's to Shane with 23 seconds. Cut him out! It's blocked! March man on a shot to Deshaun Alba makes it over save. Just 15 seconds in the power play. It's a three for the third. Face off win for Lowry. Time is time ticking down right now. Pion decided to have an empty nutter. On his way advantage and a shot, makes a save, but there is an obstructing holding call on Marchman. After the power play is over, it's now the Jets' turn. Oh boy, this is not turning so great at all. Mason Marchman did something wrong already, he holds someone at. You're not allowed to, you're not going to hand, hand off the right target. It's not going to happen, don't do it. Don't do it at all. Now the win puts it in for the corner of the Jets. On a shot range, another save! Joy Felly trying to hold that puck to Morrissey. Big stop by Ottinger! 17.36 to go in the third period. And for the NBA season, uh, the postseason will be underway here shortly. The next part of the matchup as we right in this first game, we've got great ones here. Pacers are out. But the Heat are Bay facing against the Cavaliers, the first game at the Casaya Center. Better second game will be happening here for the next game in Eastern Conference. But this will be the other side. As the Western Conference we only have is just a couple of it. The Mavericks and the other side of the team. All called for the Nuggets. At American Airlines Center. Then the next day, as we have the number one coming in, the Celtics are facing against the Knicks at the Garden. Following along with the last part of the game, 
as the Wolves will face on the other team of the OKC Thunders at Chesapeake Arena. This will now become Paycom Center instead. So that just could cause it in there, and now it's Paycom Center. There'll be all games here, right on in this game. A 7.30 game and a 9.30 game, only on Center Beats. Now I used to call for the Energizer as I right now me phone. Energizer has one of the better chances for Jake Ottinger, a better way to have it all. It's just way much of a save and he is pushing it in back. The great way to have this Energizer is to keep on taking saves and keep it alive. This might be what they are calling for, but let's hope that he stays safe without the power play being rumbled down. Back to you. He's the driver with the puck for 45 seconds. Heller is the shit one that's been wide. Sutter tries again. Can't get the puck back. Then Piaf will have it again in the drider. To handle it deep over, and that will be stopped by Oninger, as Eskinen will now try to cover it out. Winnipeg's back in the offense, as Nemstikov will have it. Chance for one! Good play! And it's stopped by Oninger! Looks like he slides, well, he's fire. Mason Marshall is ready to get back out there. And the power play is over. Mason Marchman is out of the penalty box, and after an holding call, no power play to put it back in. Well, this is really what they are uh, noticing now. That playing ball for the, the Stars defenders, they've been playing really hard. Try to get that in there, and then don't try to like get right into attackers. They're not really are trying to get over into this, but this needs to have another Keating technician in, and hopefully that might be what their chance, chances are. So hopefully it might be turning in more. Big stop by Hellebuck! Now that's what they always go for. Hellebuck is just trying to let the team get back to one. 4-3 game, it would have been easier. It would have been helpful and make it sense, and it's not just happening like that. Unfortunately, this had to be a stumble down and a little bit of a consequences in there. May not be what you expect. The pass over, DeAndre broken up the chain. 14.30 to go in the third period. Passes to Duchesne. Lose that puck as Dempsey Cobb will have it. Back again to the driver. Here's the chance now. Pass broken up by Delandra. And Piaf will have it over into the wing. He went down. That's a big bubble hit. The driver trying to have that puck in free. Now it's back to Scheifele. Moving for the net. And Andre will reach out with a save to hold that puck out. Oh, this is against him, ready for the face-off. 4 to the score, Dallas Stars. The win for Vince, Deuce Lindell. Lindell trying to get a puck out of here. And Mirosky will have that one across. Great cutting back, a shot. Oh, that was a great save. Easier with that one is. I mean, that's a great loose puck of that on the fake. And this one, you got a good technique and effort and try to stop that puck without getting in anybody's way. As the win puts it in, here's Morrissey. Morrissey trying to have that puck back out. And another save by Ottinger. And the puck now rolls it over to Hits. The Hits will try to do some effort in. Passes to Robertson, shot. Blocked by Danilo again to Villardi. Villardi has the pass to Shaifeli. Passes over Connor Shot. Oh my goodness, another save puts up by the goaltender. And it stays out of the net. Back to Gintz. DeMello will have his chance now. Here's Gintz. Block the shot. Elbert will give it back to DeMello. And Velarde of the air away. Spins across the corner now finding DeMello. DeMello trying to get it in. Club save. I'm just going to hold that puck with only 12.35 to go in the third. Now another face-off win coming up, right in between the Jets and the Stars. Pins wins the face-off. Now playing the pass to Robertson. Robertson trying to have an answer in. Good save! Back the airway goes, and another face-off will be attempt in the wings on the Jets' territory. 
There's a lot of great chances in between. A little bit of broken brutal play and also a tight game between. Now Velarde will have it again to Kyle Connor. Fires up bucket. Now here's Lindell. Trying to find another way to get in there. Slides across. And here's the shot. Bang! First shot. Way wide. Johnny Valley back to Connor. Connor trying to give it to Velarde. Here's a chance. Oh no, not to beat the goaltender. What a stop by Ottinger. That Ottinger has to be really imprecisely. That one doesn't really help at all, but that one was really close enough to get that goal in front of it. Don't take a chance here. Never mess it up. Now the win for Morris, see back to DeMello. Shoots! Save! Ottinger holds up with 11.37 to go in the third period. We're nearing the midway mark, right, fellas? Don't leave your seats here. Don't switch it up. Still a lot of time left. As of right now, Johnston wins the face off as Lindell will have it. Dallas Stars clears the puck out. Now the Jets will have their possession again to Appleton. Moving across in. First shot. Oh, Rodinger. What a save. And this one starts with 11 12 to go in the third. Still need to have a lot of execution here. Still 4 2. Lowry wins the face off. DeMello Devorsey. That's another step hat stop here. Trying to keep the puck out. Recover by Lowry. Keeping the full pressure in, here's the driver. Morrissey, inbound, save! This one's right toward the wall, and back to Gankapa. Trying to give up to Stankelman. What a big hit! And it just went, come dumping it down, and now DeMello giving it again to Lowry. That one's really out of hardness, it has to go in by. Remember that you're not going to get this one in there? Don't try to like, leave it out. You just gotta have that one pucking it in, but that one's almost gonna be a holding call. That was almost gonna be no way at all. And you need to be out there, you gotta try to working off your for a better percentage. You're doing a little too bit of chagress at the air, but try to keep it tight. Here's just good day. Past the midway mark of the period as Robertson will have that puck. And the stars will take their advantage. Toward the middle in front! And a shot! Saved by Alamuck! 9.43 left to go in the third period. Now I'm going to call. Let's have it over. Beepo. Jason Robertson has better been doing his lot of like, better sniping things off. My opinion is taking all of his better chances, ability to have that all in down, to have this one coming in from between. I was really astonishing enough to have that one coming in for my better opinion. To have that one with the best effort on us. Hopefully that Jason Robertson will try to keep it over it. And then keep the training with the teams in. And also with Jamie Benn and the others. The pass off to Gates with 9.09 to go. The pass to Obrowski for two no good. That stops with a hell of a good over save. Now they're off with our face off. Still a 4-2 game. You need to have an answer in to get a close game. And it skips puts the face off. Here's Keskine. Oh my goodness! What a save by Hellebuck! That stayed out of a net! Two time stop! That is unbelievable. They can't really just have that one sitting in that long. Hellebuck is like putting him loose. Here comes Kyle Connor! Another stop made by Ali Jerm. And you know what, I was really hoping that Hellebuck made that one a lot of great saves to deny that play. That almost turned out to be terrific. Ever before, in the over Igor Shosturkin, or anybody that played here for the goaltenders. That is like, wow. Here's Bjorn shot. Another save puts it in. That hits off the pad. Nearing the corner of the post. Here's Dylan. The pass down to Malardi. Now he swings to Kyle Connor. Connor trying to get the puck in alive as Farley will have it back. And Eskinen will now have it in the other way. Makes a move. Duchesne with the shot. It's blocked. And it goes in. He scores. Eskinen.
Hudson and Mr. C. Knight play. Now it stands 5-2. I gotta see what happened here. That guy's gonna have just plenty of C.I. ability, but that is just what they did. Nothing you gotta go for, but that just keeps it in there and it went right across underneath the pad and then scores. My goodness, stars are definitely lighting it up that night. As now it's a 5-2 game. They're trying to have an answer back for it. He would have had chess. But Lindale and the team, they've got to have it all down. Yeah, I don't know what's going on right now. I mean, that would have been Jets are definitely having a hard day right now. Canadian team's a little bit upset right now, but their fans are not happy at all. The Lions right now finding Duchesne as he went down. Marchman and Bianca is it over to send it to Lowry off to Appleton. Appleton for the number shot for Lowry. Save by Ottinger with 7 and 3 to go. Teams are set ready for the faceoff. In between 32 and 31 faceoff wins, it's a 5 2 game. Now it's even up to 32. Bank of will now have it over to get the Marchman. A takeover. Morrissey will have it now. Sliding across to Lowry. Lowry finding Appleton. Appleton shot, and another save one puts it down for Ottinger. Here's another save. The spinning back hand dumps it up. As the Miller will have it again, back to Ifella. I fell will have a chance. Shoots! Plus save! Ottinger stomps that puck with 6.19 to go in the third. Still lots of time left, but here in the five minute mark, 5 2. Jets wins the face off, back in the leadoff face off win. Not enough to beat the goaltender as he shows up with a good stop effort. There's a win, Morrissey's shot, it's blocked. Carlos finds I follow shot. Hard save here by Ottinger. Looks like it's just coming down to a full pressure rate. They better have that one back. The win for the Jets now on full pressure shot. Way too wide. Johnston stops that puck. Jets still have it alive as one arm gives it to Mello. Back to Ifrello. Shoots! Save! Puts the pass by Ottinger. Now he finds the pass over again to DeMello. And he makes it slap it. And it doesn't hit that time. That is off the wall that goes back to Ottinger under 530. That is not going to turn out well. That better trick is not turning it easy enough at all. They can't let that happen. They really need to have somebody else to try to like pick it up the score now. They have to get there fast. Lindell now finds Hankapa. Off again to Robertson. Robertson finding Pavelski. Here's good. First shot. And they're a bad save here by Kalabuk. And it's now finding Morrissey. On a chance effort finding Velarde. Pavelski with the puck. In the center of the ice, back to Kyle Carter. Kyle Carter trying to reach him down. Nothing happening. Behind the back is Velarde. Pitts grabs the puck steal. We're under five minutes left to remain in the third as Pavelski will have to try to regroup it. Pitts went down. That's another shot in the game. Pavelski shoots and saves. Carter get back to Morrissey. Here's Sean Bailey back the air away. Gets it out of here. And Pavelski have it over to get to Pins. Pins trying to have it clear out. Option to make a spin move and have it out. Pavelski shoots. And another big save by Oliva. Dylan has another way down to O'Connor. Connor now is finding a puck in. He's in trouble now in the penalty. They're in the penalty box to Pins and now back to the line drop. And it's stolen by Paul Connor. Connor went down. Harley gets to get into shade. Off to Marchman. Crosses across, and another pass stopped by Hillebuck. Beyond now finding more room again. 
You went down this time. Here's Harley. Dumps the puck in the budget territory. Still need to have a little bit more room to get there. Flakes the puck up and it goes right around the net. Asking him on that one over again to Duchesne. Duchesne right toward the right wing. Takes a stop. Now it's back to Dillon. Over and out to Appleton. Appleton gives to Lowry. Lowry trying to waste it in. Squeeze and bounce into Dreider. Bird to function. Doesn't hit it off. Back to Delantra. 240 left to go in the third. Oh, a big hit. A low moment. Oh, my goodness. That is like untakeable. Unbreakable? Not what they all expected. Glove saved by Ottinger with 2.23 to go in the third. We're right now the end of it, but this happened. The Dallas Stars, they're crushing it big. I know they are. I don't know what they were just doing, but I, I was just really uh, expecting that this would be an excellent game to have it off. Here's the win for the Stars as Heskinen will now have again to Stankelman. Stankelman right toward the right wing. Shoots it! Block the stop made here by Elwood. Monahan gets it again to Ellers. Ellers trying to work his way in. In the inbound, it's stopped. Harley trying to get it back the airway. Plays the puck up. Now it's back the airway to Piam. Piam trying to head it over to Ellers. Group groups the puck. That's another stop by Ottinger. We're nearing a 90 second, nearing the last minute. They still need to get this one back. Now they're off to do this one again. 5 2, still the score. Here's the win. Morsey. Chance of their play, and this one stayed out. Stankelman lost the puck. What on, get to Morsey. Tries one again, here's high follow, and it knocked the ball out of here! Now it's back to a 10 point game for the Chucks! That is nowhere how you take that. You knock that follow out of here, and if he doesn't buy a follow, you just have that to win it. Coming in bounds, and just get it off the back of it, and go and throw it, and it just flings it up in the air. That is just unbelievable. Great take for Alex Eichbaum. It is still not going to They need to have this one close game, but close the gap. 122 left to go in the third. And as of now, Johnson wins the faceoff, and here's Heskinen. Fires that puck out. Now here's Morrissey, a chance down to Eichbaum for three. And here comes an extra skater. They're going to have some, a little bit of help in there. And Arlie will now have to try to give up to Heskinen. A chance to get Birdie shot. Waiting for him to go off. Morrissey's got it again to I follow. And Connor, he went down. Arlie now finds Gates. And now the extra skater's coming on as the goaltender's rushing toward the bench. Morrissey, pass to Connor, shoots. Big save by Ottinger! Now it's back the airway to Heskinen. Here he goes to Pogolski. Going for a big tipper. Lock the shot. DeMello will now have to try to go over it again. Time is ticking down to Velarde. Down to 10. Connor shoots. What a save by Ottinger! Robertson will leave it out. Pogolski, and that is over. A disappointing effort for the Jets, but the Stars extend their lead a 3-0 game. Wow. What do you have to know? Jake Ottinger, a better player than that. Got to play it for real this time. He's been lifting it. All strong effort goes to Jake Ottinger. What well play in game three? And that's going to wrap it up, folks. With me, OJ, along with both playing Pat and Tyler, along with me, folks, this has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Thanks for joining us, and have a great night. All right, thank you so much, and I just really appreciate for everyone who's here. Now it's time to have three star players. Pavelski had that one with his big tip out, but that was one. The second star on the other hand, that goes to Alex I. Fuller with two goals and one hit. He just had that one here coming in big, and that one just knocked the bottle in there. Best play in the third period. 
Andrea Crosstar, player of the game, goes to Jake Ottinger with 90 saves in his game. Just had that one in there, great stoppage. But the third star, Sam Steele, had two goals, and just made that one easier. Great ones to say now, I mean, that one played in with great tough luck at the moment. And hopefully that the Jets will keep on finding its way, and then hopefully we'll have another one to come in by. Hopefully you'll, they'll get their win and stop that one down. Here's our idea with the total statistics. 93 over 64 total shots on goal for the Winnipeg Jets. And it was 69 over 50 for Dallas Stars. 644 on 502 top attack for the Winnipeg Jets. 92 for the Dallas Stars passing percentage over 91. 36 over 35 face off wins for Winnipeg Jets. Both the teams received six minute penalty kills, but one power play goal night for Dallas Stars and 413 was the time of the power play minute. So I guess that's it right now. If you enjoyed this one, stick around for tomorrow night's game. This will be only happening at 9.30 p.m. So stick around here as you will be seeing things on its way across the board. That will be the, the one and only Canucks and the Golden Knights happening at the T-Mobile Arena. So I'll be part of the next game coming up for tomorrow night's game. And I hope you all be saluting to yourself for Golden Knights or for the Canucks. Well, there might be one way that you might have it all. Let's hope you will. In the meantime, that is it for tonight. Thanks for joining us and cheers to you all for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EI Sports. It's in a game. That's truly true. It's going to be what they all expect now. <laughs> well, I guess you have the point. Yup, definitely do. We wish you everyone to have a great night and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. He's going to have tons of more videos in between, reaction videos, Coming in soon. Peace out, guys. Until next time. So long in Winnipeg. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.